it's Sophia Hudson from Rusty Blue 85 um, so in a previous video uh, I talked about the light term 1917 and how the ghosting was really really horrid um, and one of my lovely new subscribers uh, suggested a Catherine Pooler Canvo bullet journal um, because the pages were thicker um, I looked high and low for a UK distributor for the Canvo and whilst there are loads and loads of uh, places that stock Catherine Pooler inks I currently can't find a Canvo um, stockist so I had a quick look online and it was going to cost far too much money to buy one from America and bring it over here so I did a very quick Google of bullet journals for sale in the UK and I found this company called Miso Paper um, that are a UK stockist of bullet journals and they do the Leuchtturm uh, 1917 but they also do Archer and Olive um, now I've got an Archer and Olive blackout journal and I love it um, and the fact that they sell the Archer and Olive I was just kind of like well, I'm gonna have to give that one a go and well these Pigma Microns found their way into my my cart as well so I'm gonna try those out because I've never tried them before but look at the pretty box oh I mean it, yeah okay I am um, uh, one of those that you know kind of gets taken in by the pretty packaging but look it's so pretty there is no way I can throw this box away it's too 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 pretty um, so I got the green and it's so pretty uh, and it does say no ghosting or bleeding perfect for markers fountain pens and even paint um, so I I had to get the 192 page one uh, because I was just kind of like I'm I'm gonna go all out for this um, and it's a lot chunkier than I was expecting but that's a good thing um, so it's the kind of green version uh, oh, I can't get it off <laughs> everybody's probably laughing at me Come on. Obviously idiot proof, so I've had to rip it. Um, oh yeah, oh the pages are much thicker. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with that really happy with that thickness so um, this is a virgin archer and olive and I'm going to uh, start setting up my March um, bullet journal in this um, and I will probably post or maybe I'll add it to the back of this bit um, I'll post about um, setting up Mar March in this one and just compare and contrast the light term with with the archer and olive but I'm super excited, I can't wait to play with that. Oh! Oh, sorry. I I was aware that it was there, but I hadn't seen it. Um, that is a very, very cute page marker. I like that. Oh, okay, I'm sold. I'm sold. Um, Archer and Olive is, is going to be my, my bullet journal, I think. Um, so anyway, I'm super excited. And I will get back to you soon. Hello! So, um, I've partially set up my Archer and Olive and um, so I'm just going to do a kind of page by page comparison with the uh, Light Term 1917 uh, so we've got index here um, I haven't set up my future log yet but I have put aside some pages um, and I've got my 2020 at a glance and the uh, grid set up 
um, I've done a sort of day box in this one so um, every nine uh, dots there's a, a whole box um, and I'll show you what I've done for my March setup next um, so YouTube ideas uh, books to read and films to watch so you can see I've done that slightly differently um, I've got a sticker here from um, one of my favorite sticker companies um, I'll link to link to them below um, and I wanted to try and recreate that using my calligraphy inks um, and this is pistachio pudding um, stamp and write marker um, I haven't got it here on the desk at the moment but it's just basically one of these um, and it's the thick brush pen end and just swipe across and then it looks very very similar to the the sticker so I'm quite happy with the the way that they look um, this is the Polaroids um, I haven't got a Polaroid for January and we're still in March so February one um, so this is my so you can kind of see that was my January setup and this is my March setup um, obviously I'm not a bullet journalist so I'm not going to do like a how I did it um, and I, I had a little bit of a boo-boo in that um, the 30th and 31st of the month I couldn't fit them on the next row so I stuck them up here at the top and I have my um, March in the middle to kind of separate them out um, but you know bearing in mind this is like the third month I've ever done I'm, I'm quite happy with that um, and I used a, a washi tape that I've got with uh, the days of the week on I haven't set up my habit trackers but I've got the page and haven't fully set up my mood tracker yet um, I found this lovely um, it wasn't quite a postcard it was a, a piece of paper with this lovely illustration on and I just really wanted to include it in March in the hope that you know kind of flowers really excited about that um, and this is my first weekly um, so I've got notes down here by fleet treatment very important I'm going to Edinburgh in a bit so they need to go to the cattery um, poor de cure. <laughs> um, so that's my very first week in March and I'm so I'm just absolutely loving the white paper of the Archer and Olive compared to the Leuch term I just um, there's no ghosting as you can see there from my habit tracker the ghosting on the Leuch term was dreadful so I'm super super happy with my Archer and Olive um, and hopefully I'll be giving you some more updates of my bullet journaling and my Archer and Olive thanks very much for watching bye